We are 136 days away from the Summer Olympic Games in Paris. Can you believe it? As we count down, the 10 News anchors are teaming up with Make-A-Wish East Tennessee. The charity grants life-changing wishes to young people with serious health challenges like Sam Long. He has a heart of a champion. I recently paid a visit to Neyland Stadium to meet up with Sam, his family, and his favorite vol for life, Josh Dobbs. Are you excited? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is kind of cool. Yeah, welcome to Rocky Talk. <laughs> it is so awesome to finally get to meet you guys. Oh, you oh Sam, I'm Robin. Hello. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> you too. I've we've been waiting for this, so I'm glad we can make it happen, especially here. And as it says, welcome to Rocky yeah. Talk. Sam Long is a huge football fan, so there's no better place for us to meet up for the first time than Neyland Stadium. Okay, I have to ask though, do you love the Vols? Yeah. Okay, who's your player? Who's your number one? Uh, Josh Dobbs. <laughs> Josh Dobbs? Yeah. Unfortunately, Sam is stuck with me. He's my coach in an upcoming friendly competition. Here's the goal ahead of you. So you and I are a team, okay, for the Olympics, the Anchor Olympics. I'm going up against John Becker, Brittany Bailey, Abby Hamm, and Heather Walliga. Do you think we can beat them? Yeah. Let's do this, okay? Got this. High five? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> with that, the two of us, along with Sam's family, set out on a tour of the stadium meant to inspire us. It's where you belong, buddy. So we're gonna head to the media center now. So any game day press conference that our coaches are, um, our student athletes are in, this is where it happens. On the count of three. One, two, three. Awesome. Our football team hosts um, prospects in here. Their coaches, families, any guests that they bring pregame, um, they can eat a meal with them. And then halftime, we actually host football recruits and all of our other sports recruits. Then we follow the orange carpet into the game day locker room. The cubes that you see that are all lit up here, the kind of shelves, those are where their um, helmets go. Yeah! Go. As we file out, we commit to give it our all. Kinda. Oh, you can do it, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> then we take to the field. Our field crew is some of the best in the business. This is it's the, home sweet home to Sam. All right, you guys go home. I'll be here. <laughs> I'll be here. This is my new home. And remember who Sam says is his favorite ball for life? What's up, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, my man? Oh, Hello. Good. You didn't think you would come to Rocky Top and not not say what's up? <laughs> How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. You too. What's been your favorite part about uh, this trip here to Neyland? Uh, being on the field. On the field. It's pretty yeah. cool down here, isn't it? Uh huh. I see they got your they had your name on the jumbotron. <laughs> you can see it like all the way downtown Knoxville. It's pretty cool. After the introductions, we huddle up for words of wisdom that apply both on and off the field. But as a coach, you got to be extremely positive in how you coach them up. So. In order for them not to make the same mistake twice, you just got to make sure that you're coaching them very positively and telling them exactly what you want to do. That sound good? Yep. Oh, man. All oh, right. man. Let's get a picture. You ready? Yes. Yep. And we want to say a big thank you to the UT Athletic Department for the tour of Neyland. They were awesome. And, of course, to Josh Dobbs for his wonderful inspiration. Now, recently, Make-A-Wish East Tennessee granted Sam's wish to go to the Super Bowl. If you would like to make more wishes come true, head to WBIR.com. We have a link to the Make-A-Wish East Tennessee page.